Hello everyone, Gamora here, and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we kind of got knocked off the cliff by not, I guess, I don't know if we were able to beat that boss, or maybe we, uh, we could have beaten him and stayed up there, but maybe it was just planned to be knocked off. But that's pretty much the last thing that happened, and we're still on, still on that highway. I don't know which, maybe a different portion. This one's just called the High Road, Old Road. But we're still making our way to Jose Temple. Now I did spend like, I don't know, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, just doing a little bit of grinding in this spot. Just gain some stats in the sphere grid. That's pretty much pretty much all we can talk about. Or pretty much that's all there is to talk about, I suppose. Alright, hey look, here's a... What is it? Something Coming walking. down to the old road Walk was up. a mistake. You can't run a business with no customers. Say, can I interest you in something? Let's see what he's got. He's got a lot more money. Some of those. Sure are a lot of crusaders about. I wonder what they're up to. Alright, let's lend them some money. Welcome to Spare some change, lad. Now I think um ten thousand and one to get discounts later in the game. So let's actually just do that right now. 8,000. Let's do it. Let's just make sure. Let's go 100 gil over. I'll make it up to you. That I will. Right, Welcome. Let's just double check. Spare some change. All right, we're over to we're over 10,000. We're good. We can I not back out of this. Yeah, shit. I just gave you 8,000. Okay, whatever. Let's see if uh, this road takes us to uh, Jose Temple. Because we've been on this road for like two and a half episodes, if not longer. I foresee no difficulty. Yeah, he's got this dude right for you. Right there. This is an easy fight. The fights that are generally harder are pretty much the ones with uh, the bombs and those uh, those large beasts with two horns. But I'd say probably the, the bomb is probably the hardest because you know, the one with two horns we could just kind of use dark attack. And he just can't hit us. Oh, yeah. This is probably the easiest fight. Because I can just, with these three people, just one hit each. Farewell. Alright, hopefully we're at the end of this. Nope, doesn't seem like it. What's going on over here? Can I not talk to you? Like s some sort of jumping puzzle? But for the chocobos? Probably just chocobo practice. Oh, I'm surprised we keep getting this fight. I rarely oh, yeah. ever got this fight when I was trying to grind. Because I was getting the hardest fights possible. But maybe that was a good thing. Farewell. I think probably you get more um, That's how it's done. More experience from those fights, but I wasn't actually paying attention, so who knows. Oh, you look familiar. Can I talk to you? Word has gotten around about me. Now all the Crusaders are ignoring me. Being shunned. Oh, Shalinda just got cancelled. This is the fight that I usually get. 
it's a much tougher fight. Especially if they get the, the first move. Alright, let's take out the bomb first. And it's also the slowest, because every time we hit him, he's got to do this weird little... Okay then, and she's dead. Oh, great. Missed. Got lucky. Alright, let's bring in Waka. I was gonna use a... Uh, Lulu to take one of these bombs out, but... I don't want her dying, so... Let's take her out for now. Take this bomb out. Ha! Oh, oh okay, good. I, don't, I think if you don't take it out in three hits, <laughs> self destruct automatically. Now, is it a good idea to bring out Lulu? I think we'll be fine. Just gonna have to do some. Just gonna have to do some stuff. Maybe we'll take out. We'll take out Titus. Bring in Yuna. I like this game, um, the way the battle system is done in this game. Because, you, you know, since you can, uh, you know, bring characters in and out without wasting a turn, there's a lot more uh, strategy that you can implement in terms of, you know, taking enemies out. Alright, Yuna got her experience. I think everyone got experience except Kamari. So let's uh, get him in here. So everyone can bask. I'm not 100% sure on Titus, so gotcha let's bring him back. Alright, cool. Now I wonder if this actually splits experience. 108. It doesn't look like it. It looks like uh, if uh, there's a, a group of three people versus everyone, it looks like 108 is probably what we're gonna get. Because sometimes it like you get like a big pool uh, of experience, and it kind of just like like you get like 10,000 experience, but not each character would get 10,000. It would get split into like three, three or four, depending on how many people are in the in the in the battle. Enough. Oh, there's actually two paths here. Maybe there was an option where I didn't get knocked off. And that's the other path you take. All right, still more walking. Not like, not quite there. Do you want to ride a chocobo? Yeah, let's not do that yet. Oh, here's Donna. How many times do I have to tell you I'm a summoner? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. You dare impede a summoner's pilgrimage? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. Useless. I actually saw a treasure chest over here. Thankful. Thanks for that cutscene. I guess we can actually walk in this direction. Kind of check out the path that we missed. Yeah, I'm not, we're not going to do that. Seems like a waste of time. Even if there is an item anywhere, or item somewhere. We're crusaders too. We have a lot of work to do. My job is to clean up everyone's stuff. Am I delivering food for this? And I'm delivering food for the soldiers. 
big job, huh? I'd say food is a pretty big job, you know? People need to eat. Cleaning stuff. Not as big, but still necessary. The operation is going to start soon. All civilians must leave. What if you don't? Then Sin's going to eat you. Mom said Sin eats bad people. Yikes. Gee, Captain Lucille and Elma should have been here by now. Save point. I wonder if they're gonna let us through. We are the famous summoner. The Mushroom Rock Road is off limits to non Crusader personnel until the end of the mission. Oh, it's you. As you can see, not even summoners can pass. But they'll call on us in the end. Just wait and see. In the meantime, I think I'll have a nap. Oh, Bartello. Did you see her outfit? She's practically wearing nothing. Oh, right. We apologize for the inconvenience, but this road is closed. Okay, now what? Gata and Luzu reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. Uh, you've had 800 years to do it. I'm not holding my breath. Does that mean we can actually walk through? Any donation toward Operation Meehan would be greatly appreciated. A lot of people asking for money. Wonder what this is all about. I actually don't remember this. Hey, you're a summoner and are guardians, right? Sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for your cooperation. I didn't know I had a dialogue choice. I'm sorry, I can't let you pass. Hey, you... What, they didn't tell you? We're bringing Sin Spawn from Oliver Spira here. Sin Spawn inevitably draws Sin, right? We're going to lure it into a trap. So they had Sin Spawn on that boat? Behind that door? That's why they wouldn't let us see it. Kind of dangerous, don't you think? Oh, look who it is. Maester Seymour. Wonder what happened to his chest. So, we meet again, Lady Yuna. I yes You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? Well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But, but Maester Seymour, Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. Oh, looks like we got a head start on Donna. It is done. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. It's like the amazing race, but with summoners. Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Get special privileges. Who He's does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? 
Hmm. Now oh, they still haven't explained what a maester is. Any donation toward operation? Right. Now well, let's not do that. If I didn't just give eight thousand to a waka, I might consider it, but let's not. All hail, Maester Seymour. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the Crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings, they're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran. It is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. Sir Oran must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your lordship presently present here, sir? Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the Maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. Oh. Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. Y you're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me. That's a weird thing to say. Definitely makes him seem untrustworthy, just by hearing those words. I wonder if we're gonna have an issue with that dude later on. You must take full precaution, uh, precautions here. Please use this if the need arises. Yevon did not forsake us, after all. Now we can fight without regret. Alright, still, still got random encounter. Same set of, same set of enemies, so. No issue. I also realized that, I forgot about it, I mean it's kind of obvious now that I think about it. But as you can see, like if you look at the, you know, the, the what's the, what's the thing called? Um, I guess the order of who goes next in the battle. You can actually, you know, if you, if you actually can, you can actually take out enemies. Like right now, get okay, Lulu, and then Monster C, right? I think Monster C is the flying one. You can actually, you know, if you're careful about it, sit you can back sure and watch. Never, you can make sure they never even get a chance. So this should be a one shot. And then Oren can one shot. This. Farewell. There we go. They did have turns. No time to waste. Let's they go. Just died before they were able to execute them. 
And since you can bring people in and out without wasting anyone's turn, there's a lot of strategy. Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Why didn't you wait for us, then? I'm just doing my job. That's what they always say. That's good to again. Lad. <laughs> Sneak past the guards, I did. Oh, got any weapons? That wasn't an option, I think, last time. HP and defense. That's not bad. Oh, nice. We can equip it straight off the bat. HP and MP. Not sure, let's do that. Oh, let's definitely do that. Oh, that's actually a lot more money now. How about ice plan? We okay, making a fortune now. with Operation Mehen prices. But you, lad, you get a discount. I owe you one, eh? I sure hope so. Maybe 10,000 in the beginning. Maybe that last time we lent, lent them money was the last time we were able to. Alright, let's bring in the person who can do the best. This dude out. Hmm. Oh, I think he's got a fire weapon. Yeah, let's not use Wanda. Because he would have healed anyone he hit. Mm -hmm. That move is actually way easier. Uh, um, Titus is, uh, his overdrive. I think it's way easier, because if you miss it, it just resets. Because if it just kept going, left to right, without resetting, I think it'd be a lot harder. Away. Or, I mean, it, would, it would still be pretty easy. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I missed it by a button. I guess that's fine. I don't think Titus can do it in one shot. May Actually, I don't think anyone can do it in one shot. Nope. I guess we're gonna have to get hit by him. If I didn't just screw up that overdrive, I think we'd be fine. After grind grinding for like an hour, it just got really slow. They, I, I guess the amount of AP you need to go to the next sphere level, it just keeps increasing. But, you know, not the enemies don't get stronger, so you're kind of you know, just stuck with what they give you. So, and it's not that much. There is increasing fiend activity, but or, this may not be much help, but everyone is so friendly in this game. Giving us potions and items and weapons. just as strong as Orin. Because when I hit monsters that are like designed for Orin to take care of them, nobody complains. 
saying, oh, you shouldn't attack it. Leave that enemy for Auron, or something like that. Because it happens with everyone else, but not with Kamari. Also, I, I guess I didn't mention it, but while I was uh, grinding, I got different modes for overdrive. So, like, instead of our overdrive gauge being filled up when we get hit, some people have it where they do it where they do damage, or some people have it when like their party members get hit, which is I think a better because that that gives you two options, like for. Like if your party members get hit, as opposed to just you, so that kind of raises your odds in from from one and three to two and three. So, and if it's based on when you attack, it's pretty much a hundred percent guaranteed. And I, I think for Orin, it's when he's attacking. So if you check it out, you can see that his uh, yep, his gauge goes up when you attack. Kamari has a, a higher crit chance. Cause he, oh, those dudes do a lot more. Kind of wish I was running into those enemies when I was grinding, but I don't think they existed near that near that save point. Oh, that, that's another thing I, I forgot to mention. Uh, I, I guess it's been mentioned before in a previous episode, but um. Grinding is so much easier in this game. Just because you can, uh, let's call it, just hit a, like if you grind near a save point, it like restores HP and MP. So you don't technically have to waste anything. Is fire. Now isn't that fun? And he was almost dead. Alright, so this thing is fire. Blizzard. Alright. Now, I can understand that Blizzard, well, since it's fire, I can understand how Blizzard, uh, is the greatest weakness, and I can understand how fire heals it. What I don't understand is why uh, water and thunder do half damage. I feel like they only do that because they want you to pick the obvious weakness. But it doesn't seem, it doesn't make sense to me, like. Like, if this thing is made out of fire, sure, the weakness is blizzard, but if I dump water on them, that should still do some, you know, should still be a problem for it. One shot? Is that thing not weak to fire? I should have hit the other thing. This poison sleep. Right, well, let's take him out of here. He's just gonna heal them. I wonder if uh, Orn has some protection. I got hit twice with that. I missed both times. So. Alright. Let's hope this finishes him off. Good. Rush could be at risk of dying. Alright, and uh, let's do some 
heals. Uh, better than using potions. I see there's a save point there. Summoner's Entourage. Please accept this. Ooh, 10 potion. Which way are we supposed to go? This way? Can I get a bigger map? I actually don't know where to go. Doesn't seem very obvious. Also, oh, so, uh, so it's a, a plant that uses fire, but it's a weak against fire. It's kind of interesting. Let's actually take out two of them. All right, and I don't think Orin can one shot him, unless he crits. He's close. I think like a, just a hundred more damage. Well, I guess Orin is not immune to, to sleep. Oh, looks like he's just gonna walk. This dude's just gonna burn us alive until then. Oh. Well, actually, let me try that. I thought, because I thought this dude was like gonna get healed by fire, but oh, yeah. he's weak to it. Yeah, it's not that good. Alright, well, I was gonna end this episode at the save point, but it doesn't seem like I know where I'm going. So, let's actually end this episode with, uh, some levels. Oh, actually, let's use the level one. It's only for a couple stats, but we're gonna get some HP, so that's gonna be nice. always gets... he always has these other paths. Just trying to stick on one main path. Looks like that's not going to be an option though. That looks like everyone. And with that, we're going to end this episode here. And hopefully by the next episode, we will make it to... I thought we'd make it to Jose by now, but looks like it's, we might not even make it in the next um, in the next episode. But it is a cool temple. So check out the next episode. Maybe we'll make it there. You can see how cool the temple is if, you know, for your own eyes. But I think in the next episode, we're going to just try to make our way to the command center. And see what this uh, shifty uh, Maester Seymour is up to. Oh, check that out in the next episode. Thanks for watching and have a good day.